All right, let's get this tie on loose because it's time to name off the top 10 worst movies of 2014. These are the pile of shits that came out in the year of 2014. And here's the thing you should guys know before going to this video. I didn't see a lot of bad movies this year. This year I took a little bit back for myself, so I didn't see as many bad movies this year as some other people. But looking at the list, there are some bad movies that came out this year. All right, enough of that. Let's start off with this list with number 10. Number 10. Coming into number 10 is A Million Ways to Die in the West. Now, A Million Ways to Die in the West was the film I was actually looking forward to because it was Seth MacFarlane's second film after Ted. Ted was really, really hilarious. So I was really looking forward to A Million Ways to Die in the West, but it fell flat. The jokes did not hit. And the problem was that when they had a joke that made you laugh, they kept going and on and on and on. A lot of the jokes were just far potty humor. It just didn't work and it's like, wow, this feels like one of the bad episodes of Family Guy. Number nine. Coming at number nine is the Expendables 3. I'm going to tell you right now, I actually like The Expendables 2. I don't really care about the first one. I didn't like but The Expendables 2 was a surprise for me. It was a lot of fun. But here's the thing about The Expendables 3. All these action stars, they have become a parody of themselves. And since the movie was PG-13, it brought down the film a lot. It felt generic. It felt bland. And since it was PG-13, they were trying to use shaky cam to cover, you know, the scenes that have blood in it. So the action scenes were unenjoyable. And the addition of the new young cast was completely unnecessary. They brought down the film to a halt. You just don't care for them. You want to see the 80s action heroes. But they're just over there being... Blah, blah, blah. Numb. Coming in at number 8 was a film that I was at least hoping could be good, at least decent, but it wasn't, and that is Dracula Untold. Universal Studios was so keen on making a cinematic universe with these monsters, so they were like, oh, okay, let's start off with Dracula Untold. The filmmakers actually finished the movie, but they were like, oh, let's make it part of the cinematic universe. So the film doesn't feel right, it feels rushed, and some of the scenes were completely unnecessary. And actually, the only reason why Dracula Untold is at number 8 is because of Luke Evans, because he brings the film to a higher level. Without Luke Evans, this film could have been way down on the list. Number 7. Coming in at number seven is Three Days to Kill. Now, Three Days to Kill was the film I was like, oh, this could be Kevin Costner's time to become the next old action star. This could be Kevin Costner's version of Taken. He could join the lines of Liam Neeson and Denzel Washington. But unfortunately, this film felt like Taken 2. Lame. <laughs> Coming to number six was a horror film that I was like, okay, look, this movie's probably gonna be bad, but it just at least be decent. At least be decent. It was not. And that movie is. Annabelle. 2014 was not a great year for horror films. There was only two good horror films that people have been saying, and I saw one of them, that is Oculus. People have been saying the Babadook's really good. It probably is because a lot of people are saying it's really good, but those are the only two movies out of the whole year, two horror films that are good, and Annabelle is one of the bad ones. Here's the thing about Annabelle 2. It felt rushed. It felt like a cash grab because The Conjuring was such a success. The studio was like, oh my gosh, we got to make a spinoff on Annabelle. And as you can tell, it just feels rushed. It's so cliched. You don't give a fuck about any of these characters, and the characters are stupid. <laughs> All right, we're getting down to the wire. These are the top five movies that really, really fucked me up because they were just so bad. Coming in at number five is Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. They are milking this franchise to the max. I will not be surprised if the next Paranormal Activity movie takes place in space. This movie feels like a parody of the Paranormal Activity franchise, but the thing is, it is part of the Paranormal Activity franchise. That's how bad this movie is. Number four. All right, coming in number four is a movie that people will probably have a number one, but for me, it's at number four. And that movie is Transformers Age of Extinction. Now, here's the thing you guys should know. I am a huge fan of Transformers. I grew up with the 80s cartoon series. I watched the 2006 show Transformers Cybertron. I collected some of the Transformers figures, so I'm in love with the Transformers. And as I see Michael Bay continually fuck me in the ass with these terrible Transformers films. The film is literally the exact same plot as the other films. The first one, they went after the Allspark. The second one, they went after the Matrix. The third one, they went after the Pillars. And this fourth one, they're after something called the Seed. It's the exact same plot. The only difference is they're just getting longer and longer. What the hell, Michael Bay? People are not gonna like these movies you've been making longer. It's just gonna make us hate it more. And Michael Bay keeps putting these 
fucking product placements in these movies. There's a part where Marky Mark Mark Wahlberg, he gets out of an alien spaceship and you see Bud Light bottles everywhere. And what he does, he takes one of the Bud Light bottles, opens the cap and starts drinking it and throws it on the floor. All he had to do was just say this. Oh, hey, I'm Marky Mark. Here, have some Bud Light, guys. And by the way, Say how do you mother for me? I know I give this movie a B minus, but that was on a guilty pleasure level. It doesn't mean the movie's good. It's still a terrible piece of shit. Number three. All right, we're getting down to the top three. Coming in at number three is a film that I just barely reviewed, just to tie in for the top ten worst list, and that is A Haunted House Two. I am tired of these spoof movies. They just keep getting worse and worse. This movie's just terrible on all levels. It's just Marlon Wayne screaming him, having sex with a dog over and over again. It's a bunch of stereotypical jokes that hit you over the head multiple times. It's just a bunch of raunchy sex jokes that don't even make you laugh. If, look, if you like these Haunted House movies, that is fine, okay? Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but for me, I hate these movies. These are bad movies. Stop it, okay? Please do not make a third one, because if they make a third one, I'm going to bang my head on this wall over and over again. <laughs> Number two. All right, coming to number two is a movie that pissed me off because it was a success. And that is Ouija. It was ahead of Nightcrawler and John Wick. That pissed me the fuck off. How can audiences watch a piece of shit with characters you don't give a fuck about? Terrible jump scares. And I think the reason why people aren't a fan of Oculus, which I liked Oculus, I think why people didn't like it is because it was a smart psychological horror thriller film that actually made you think. And it was the ideas that creeped you out. People just want jump scares, loud noises to scare you. No, no, these types of films, fuck these movies. Number one. All right, number one. The worst film of 2014, the biggest pile of shit that was even worse than Transformers Age of Extinction. You want to know what movie that is? I'll tell you what it is. It is The Legend of Hercules, or as I like to call it, The Legend of Shit. It was the second week of January, and I remember I bought my ticket, and I went to go see this movie, and as soon as the movie started, Oh my gosh, I was new. I was in for a terrible film. First off, the CGI in this movie is terrible. The acting is so over the top. I mean, Hercules' is father in the movie, he screams all the time. He's like, why fond of me? You must come with me. Here's the thing about Kellen Les. He may be a good actor. Maybe he has to find the right movie to show his talents. This movie was not that. He was terrible as Hercules. You can't even enjoy this film just for his action scenes because it's so Terrible, so terribly done. You could see this is one scene where this guy stabs a guy, but you can see he has it under his arms. Like, what the hell? This is like a big production. You could see it. Like, is that something that you could just like, oh, I see it. You could see it right in front of you. It's like, what the hell? What kind of shit is that? Here's the thing about the legend Hercules. It stuck with me like herpes. There's not a single redeeming factor in this movie. Not a single thing. All right, guys. That was my list for my top 10 worst movies of 2014. Yeah, I got a little violence, but hey, when you're talking about shit, you gotta go crazy. So I wanna know, guys, what are your thoughts on my list? What is your top 10 worst list? Comment down below and let me know. And here's the thing, guys, before I go, I just wanna say this. Thank you for everything. I know I said this in my top 10 best list, but I just wanna say thank you guys so much. It's been a great year. I hope you guys have a happy new year. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this year, guys, who have stuck with me from the beginning, commentating. Great job, great work. All the new friends I made along the way, Pigaloink, Michael Woods Jr., and Shadow Podcasts, all those guys. Let's hope for the best for 2015. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day. <laughs>